Hi guys, my name is Ashley and I'm a graphic artist at Body Candy. I design stickers and shirts for Body Candy. So my favorite sticker that I've made so far is this guy here, which is actually a watercolor painting that we turned into this little guy. Since joining the team and being able to see all of the awesome jewelry that we carry, I've realized that I am missing so many of the piercings that I want to get. So I've decided to finally get all the piercings that I'm missing and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. So I currently have 14 piercings. Um, I have my ears stretched here to a double zero um, and my favorite piercing I think is my septum. So the first one that I'm getting that I've wanted since I was 15 years old is my industrial. The that I'm getting my industrial first is because I've heard that the pain level is really high. Uh, so I just want to knock that one out of the way. Secondly, I want to get my tragus because I have one on one side and um, I want to even them out. So I'm going to get the other side as well. I decided that I'm going to do them on one side only because I sleep on my left side and if I'm going to be getting so many piercings, I want to make sure that I'm not going to be uh, suffering <laughs> while I sleep. So I was worried about a couple things going into this, um, but I was most nervous actually for recording. <laughs> but I also do pass out uh, sometimes, so I made sure to eat and drink water beforehand. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? Hi, I'm Erica. I work here at Eternal Inc. in West Seneca, New York. Um, I've been piercing about four years now. My favorite piercing that I have is probably my dahlias. Love them. And then I will have you turn your head looking against the wall. Cleaning wise, you're going to want to clean twice a day with sterile saline. Um, from uh, both entry points of your piercing. Um, you just spray it right on there and then you are going to gently wipe away any crusties. It's best to use a sterile piece of gauze um, to get in there so that way you don't get any cotton fibers in the piercing. If you do happen to like flip over, there's like um, travel pillows where you know then you could uh, put your ear in the hole and alleviate any pressure yeah that's perfect good yeah So I'm going to uh, put a receiving tube right up next to your tissue. I'm going to line up and then when I tell you to, I'm going to have you take a deep breath in okay. and then when you exhale, I'm going to pierce and then just keep breathing through the whole thing. Don't hold your breath. That's when people typically pass out. So you just want to keep breathing through the whole thing like they tell the pregnant women. Okay. All right. <laughs> Better not be that bad. <laughs> Deep breath in and let it out. Oh, that was not bad. <laughs> That's the easy side. <laughs> I'm holding my breath. <laughs>
down there? Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> industrial I don't know if I have words for it but it wasn't bad <laughs> it was it was awkward out of 10 mm, pain level I would put that at like a six maybe six. are you ready yes I'm ready Clean all of this off here and get that. More spicy? Um, yeah, a little more. <laughs> but I was ready for that one because I knew what it felt like. I knew it was gonna be a little tough. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. That's half of that. Yeah. Yeah, you want a sucker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And also, um, after you get out of the shower and things like that, try and uh, either blow dry your hair or put it up just so the wet hair isn't sitting on your industrial. Okay, gotcha. That's just a little do. done being. But finally, I have one. not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I wanna add a little disclaimer. I do have a very high pain tolerance. Um, so take that with a grain of salt, but it's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So Erica was really, really great. Um, she gave me a brochure with the exact measurements of the jewelry, and she gave me a saline solution for aftercare, and she was just overall extremely sweet. I'll keep you guys updated on the healing process, and thanks for getting pierced with me.